my breakfast for this morning. After my run, I decided to have some blueberries, a banana, chia seeds, and quick oats. Now, I'm someone who could have oatmeal every morning for breakfast, and with blueberries and a banana, that's my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite. I've just recently been adding chia seeds and really liking that, and I just pour enough water to kind of cover the oats and blueberries, and then I pop it in my microwave for about two minutes. When it comes out, I will chop a banana and put it on the top, and then I let them cool, usually on my counter or in my refrigerator for a little bit before I enjoy them. I have some tea to enjoy with it, along with some vitamins and my daily Brazil nut. You can use vitamins if you want to, you don't have to, with a um, whole food plant-based diet. But what I have there is actually a zinc, two electrolytes that I usually take after I run. I can link those down below if you want to check them out. I get them on Amazon and like I said, my Brazil nut. And that is my breakfast. I just posted this on Instagram that we had this for dinner last night. I'm editing it the next day, but I always make homemade bread at least once a week and we've been making it on Saturday. So I'll like prepare it on Saturday mornings and then we have it fresh when we come home from church on Saturday nights. But this one I made a little bit differently. I actually added a mock or like hack for an instant sourdough. And I, if I can find something like it on Amazon, I'll link it down below. But I get this at Winco Foods and I loved this. It gave nice flavor. Like it was a sourdough, but you didn't have to have a starter. It was just like an instant little packet that you put in for the flavor and for um, the prebiotics, probiotics and stuff, so it made it really healthy, but it was really delicious. And I just let this sit on my counter for about six hours before I threw it into my oven. I thought I would do a quick kind of outfit of the day. I got this dress, which is originally from The Loft at Goodwill for just a couple of dollars. It has this like, I don't know, you can go off the shoulder with it. You can kind of go cow neck. I'm gonna go cow neck today, I think with the neckline it is cinched so it stays down when it's windy which is really really awesome here and then i have these sandals which i've actually had for probably since 2014 and i think i got them at target so they're pretty old but i just wear them in the summer and i've had them for forever and i love them so i'm also bringing a jean jacket it is right now like 74 degrees, but this is my old faithful jean jacket. It is from Eddie Bauer, and I got this also at Goodwill. It's like an oversized, I love it. I love to roll the sleeves up. I think jean jackets are just so cute. I'm also thrifting. I'm also using a thrifted purse, which I got last fall, I think when I got this dress, and I paid just a couple dollars for that. So this is my outfit of the day. And then when it comes to my hair, I actually don't do anything. I just uh, let it air dry and it dries pretty quickly and it dries straight. It used to be wavy and then I cut it all off and now it's straight. So cheers to having myself put together on a Saturday. Winco Foods. We are going to go grocery shopping. We don't really have that much to get, I feel like. Do we have that much to get? We gotta get naked. <laughs> the smoothies, guys, the smoothies. So I'll take you in, I'll show you around a little bit. I personally love Winco. I think it's super clean. I think the employees are super friendly. I know every Winco everywhere is different. Um, in my comment section, people have told me they don't like their Winco Foods. I love mine, this one's brand new. It opened during the pandemic and literally the prices are the cheapest of any grocery store locally to us. I am super new to using Fetch Rewards. I just started using it. My friend Lauren turned me on to it over on Instagram. She's always talking about her Instagram stories. I'll link it below if you guys want to check it out. It's a free app. All you have to do is scan your grocery receipts and I got 236 points for that trip to Winco Foods. And 10,000 points gets me like a $10 gift card, I think on Amazon. So 
I mean, all I have to do is scan my grocery receipts and we all know I don't spend very much on groceries. So I decided to make a really quick lunch today. Um, it was just like a chickpea tuna. I used some spicy mustard and I had some lime juice and I said that sounded really good because it was warm out this day and I did it with a really big spinach salad and I used one of these everything bagels which I love the Bubba's brand. We pick them up here and there and then I used some of the spicy cashew butter that was from Trader Joe's that we picked up a couple weeks ago and this was lunch this day. Okay, since it was the weekend, I wanted to try this heat box out because I got it on Saturday. This was gifted to me and I accepted it because I thought this would come in really handy for my husband. If you are like him or even like my sister who doesn't have access to a microwave and you work on the go or you work um, even in an office and like that's shut off right now because of the pandemic and everything, everybody's lifestyle right now is different and we're working with like a new normal we're working with you know how to figure out how to live is <laughs> still you know in a life that's different than what we're used to so this is a heat box so it cooks and warms your lunch so i decided to do two things i decided to start a product raw and put it in the heat box because you can do that but i wanted to see really how long it would take to cook potatoes again this is something i wanted to play out with over the weekend so i could send it with him to work next week and kind of give him an estimate idea of how to use it the worst thing you could do is <laughs> bring it with you to work on monday and then expect your lunch and you know it's not ready in time so it's all app activated as you can see the blue light is on meaning that the bluetooth is activated on my app and then i can set it to different um, temperatures the red light means it's heating and so the first one with the potatoes i decided to try at just 70 degrees celsius and i get like alerts saying hey it's done um, and then you just tap it to turn it off. I thought this was such a cool functionality, especially for someone like my husband or even my sister, like they said, who's on the go, who doesn't have access to a microwave. So the potatoes weren't done in that time frame, and I really only wanted to try this for about 30 minutes because again, it's about timing to make it convenient. Um, I didn't know if I could send raw food with him to work and then have him turn the app on for 30 minutes and then it'd be ready to go. So I reset it again and then came back and the potatoes weren't quite ready. As you can see, there's condensation on the lid they were definitely cooking but they would probably need at least an hour to an hour and 15 minutes and that was just too long the container there you can take to go it's really really hot so be careful so then i decided you know what i'm gonna throw in some pre-cooked spaghetti and some sauce that has been refrigerated for 24 hours throw that in the box and see how long that takes and that took about four minutes to heat which honestly is very comparable to a microwave so i thought okay this could absolutely do be doable and i'm probably going to gift my sister one of these i'm going to buy her one there's a link down below if you want to check it out there's also a 10 percent off coupon but i definitely think for an option to warm your food and go this is perfection quick ootd i have had this dress since my husband and I met and it is amazing it's just this really long black dress with um, like spaghetti straps and I just have like a bralette underneath it and it's got a tie right here it's long it's black it's the most flexible cozy material and I love it so we're heading off to church and I changed into something a little bit more comfortable. Same sandals still, but just have like a, a nice maxi dress on. I'm probably gonna put my jean jacket back on because that is my life. I'm always cold, even when it's like 100 degrees out. And yeah, I just really love this dress. I just think it's so cute. I feel like I need a different mirror if I'm gonna do OOTDs because this is not the best for it. And my hair just air dried. There we go off to church all right we are currently heading to church and then we're gonna come home and i'm gonna make some dinner i um prepped some bread so i'll show you how to make that if you've never seen it we make quick bread i use quick active yeast so it should take six to eight hours to prep so that's that's our day so far we also took a nap and it was lovely wasn't it lovely, mm, it was lovely. like i think i slept for like maybe 15 20 minutes like hard enough to actually take a nap to have a dream. It was really weird. I was telling him about my dream, but we're off to church.
Okay, so for dinner tonight, I decided to just make what we've been having almost every Saturday night after church since our church reopened, and it's just pasta with sauce. Sometimes I'll do veggies on the side. I have to be honest, I didn't make any veggies. Even though I planned to have a salad on the side, it just didn't this night. And this sourdough bread is amazing. I highly recommend it. checking out down below in the link to Amazon or finding it at your local grocery store. So here's my plate and my dog, who's always in the kitchen at my feet all the time, just waiting for me to drop a crumb so he can pick it up. And then I mentioned before in the beginning of the video, I like to wash my dishes a very specific way. I save all my dishes to the end of the evening and then I use one sink full of water that I fill up while I start to wash and then once it's full I'll do all the pots and pans and everything like the large pieces but I have a dishwasher I just don't use it I think I've used it a few times but I feel like this is a really good way to save water I definitely don't save on soap I feel like I use entirely too much soap but I just really like soap so that's how I do my dishes I thought I'd show you really quickly since I mentioned it earlier and then for kind of like our Saturday tradition we watched Dateline and this was an episode that was near my hometown where I grew up so it was very interesting to watch.